Christmas. I wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Hi, Jade here from The Rawsome Truth. Today I want to talk to you about Christmas Day and how to deal with people who are going to make comments about the way you're eating on Christmas Day. Now, you may be lucky enough to have a family who eats the same way you do, then you've got no problems. But that's in a perfect world. Now, you may have family who are vegan and are very accepting of you being raw vegan. Most people in the vegan community are accepting on any way people eat as long as it's vegan. But you may have omnivores in your family and you may be attending those functions. So how do you deal with the comments that they make? And this um, same thing goes for people who are following who are a vegan and eating cooked food too. It doesn't matter if you're eating cooked or raw, you may have to deal with some sort of comments. So how do you deal with them and keep the peace in your family? Because, I mean, your natural reaction is when Auntie Mary turns around when she's got, you know, a dead bird leg in her hand, and she says, oh, I don't know how you can eat like that. Oh, I love my food. Oh, I love, you know, and you feel like saying, yeah, you're eating a dead bird's leg. And <laughs> that's your natural reaction reaction but how do we keep it civil I think the best thing to do on Christmas Day is have all your own food packed don't make a big deal about it when the big deal is made about it and it may happen just turn around and say you know what I am so happy eating this way be the light shine bright and others will follow if we get angry and Believe me, I've done it so many times. It's nothing for me to say, look, <laughs> you're eating dead animals and you want to lecture me. So, you know, it's, and I get it, and I get how easy it is to say, but it is so, you actually attract people more to your lifestyle when you are diplomatic about it and you're happy about it. So instead of getting defensive when Auntie Mary's, you know, rah, 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 turn around and say, you know what, Auntie Mary, really love what you're saying, really understand where you're at, but I'm not there. I'm here and this for me is a perfect lifestyle. I feel so happy. I feel so energized. Um, I feel vibrant. And most importantly, I can look at my food and know that nobody got hurt. And you're just saying it so simply and you're still planting a seed, but you haven't said it nasty. So Auntie Mary says, oh, yeah, you can't. You know, she's not going to get her defenses. She may put her head down in shame. That's okay. Um, but you've said it so nicely. And then you know what? You sit there and you really enjoy your food. And if Auntie Mary's sitting there still looking at you, you know what? Just continue to enjoy your food and don't worry about it. Another reason why people may make comments, I mean, you're going to get those kind of comments, and that's because people just don't get it. You know, the Auntie Mary comments, they just don't get it, they don't understand. But then you're going to get the other comments um, from people, and that may be simply people get jealous. And I've been in the health, weight loss, nutrition, fitness, um, or circles sorry circles for long enough to understand that people do get jealous people get jealous because not because you're sitting there eating an apple and they're sitting there eating a piece of cake because in that point in time you know they're thinking about the cake but i think people get jealous because they think you know what i can't do that so the greatest way for them to deal with the fact that they feel like they can't do that is to attack and instead of attacking back and saying, yeah, well, you know, blah, 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 as we can do because we get defensive, you know, um, just keep that in mind. Just say, you know what, they probably don't understand my lifestyle. They, pro they may be jealous, you know, especially if people are um, suffering with health issues um, or they're suffering, you know, they're overweight and whatever. Their natural reaction is to have a go at you because you're eating healthy. 
because it's for them they're looking and they're looking at their own reflection and they're saying oh wow i really should be you know eating like that that's probably going to make me healthier it's probably going to make you know me more energized it's probably going to help me lose weight and so people are looking at that and it's how they're feeling within and we've always got to remember that with people um instead of getting defensive and thinking that they're attacking you what they're doing is truly attacking themselves, but it's so much easier to attack the person who's doing what you wish you could be doing. Um, so, you know, keep all these things in your mind before you go. Instead of putting your armor on and saying, yes, I'm ready to attack, put your armor on, but your smart armor. Your smart armour is that you've got all these things in the back of your head. You might say, you know what, I know Sue's going to have a go at me because she's overweight, she's on and off yo-yo diets all the time and if she sees that I don't even slip up on Christmas, that's going to be a real reflection of what she wishes that she could be. And you know what, I'm just going to say, you know what, Sue, um, I'm, I'm really... Um, happy the way I'm eating and you know what maybe one day you might enjoy it too you never know and just keep it so calm because otherwise you end up upsetting yourself because you think oh everyone's attacking me about my lifestyle you know or you're sitting there with eight bananas and everyone says oh you're a monkey yeah yeah I'm a monkey yeah <laughs> and that's your natural reaction or you get defensive yeah um rather than saying you know what no I'm not a monkey but this is how I eat would you like me to share with you why I eat this way and if you're like that with people it's a lot harder for them to be rude it's a lot harder for them to attack it's a lot harder for them to say anything when you're saying you know what guys before I started this this is how I'm feeling so like for me I say you know what yeah okay it's a little bit different how I'm eating it's not the norm but this is how our bodies are naturally designed to eat and I made the decision to do this because I wasn't feeling good I was suffering with um, depression insomnia my skin was really bad I had irritable bowel um, I was getting really bad headaches you know all the things that I wa was having I was lacking energy I just you know am um, and especially with friends and family, I'll say, you know, you saw me. You saw how bad I was getting after because I had a bit of a semi-breakdown. I'll say, you know, you saw how bad I was. So now I decided to eat this way because I had to change what was going on in my body. I had to make myself feel good. And now I'm feeling great. And I'd really love it as my family, as my friends, if you could accept the way I eat I'm not asking you to eat the way I eat I'm not forcing that on you but can you please it's Christmas day accept the way I eat and accept that I'm enjoying this and don't make me feel bad um, for the way I'm eating and if I say that nobody's gonna say anything you can't say well I still want you to feel like crap no no one's gonna say that to you it's just that we get defensive. You know, we always say, my Auntie Sue, my Auntie Mary, they're victimizing me, they're picking on me, they've always got to criticize the way I eat. But if we stop and look at the way their mindset is, we can see it differently. And I think that's part of being a healthy person is understanding that people aren't gonna be on your wavelength. I always have to think about how I was before I, especially, you know, nine and a half years ago when I was really bad, I was an alcoholic. I have to look and say, well, I would have said, what are you, freak? You know, I would have thought that was so weird. So, you know, we have to think that people aren't on our wavelength and I think it's part of being fruity and it's part of being healthy, um, you know, we've, we've, we've got to be that one step ahead and raise people up to our level. Don't drop down to theirs. And I think that you'll um, have such a better Christmas. The other thing that may happen Christmas Day is what do you do when food is forced on you? And it'll happen. It, it happens sometimes. It doesn't happen to me because my family's scared of me. <laughs> they're not really but they just know me no um, but if you're new to this kind of lifestyle I mean I've been living a healthy lifestyle for quite a few years everyone knows that I've got different weird wonderful ways that I like to eat and everyone just let it go but if you're new to this lifestyle and you do have that happen you have to for, um, 
plan to be strong and you know be able to say you know what thank you so much for offering to me um but this is how i'm eating and the same thing the way you spoke to auntie mary or the same way you spoke to sue i mean it may be uncle jim or whatever but it, the reference is there however you um, speak to them it's the same thing it's just explaining to people why when you're honest with people when you're open with people and you're very calm with people people accept as soon as you get your defenses on they can't help it they're going to niggle and niggle and niggle so don't let them niggle be open be straightforward and be the fruity forceful person you can be all right this is jade this is the raw some tr truth subscribe to my channel and remember don't don't take lives live life bye for now